Hello everyone and welcome to the Botanus Garden Club. I'm Pam and I'm Wendy. So glad to be back here again today. Yes. And we're introducing something brand new today to us. Yes. And maybe not to us in our lifetime, but no. new to our catalog. Yes, new to fun. our catalog. And we have been searching high and yeah. low and we have finally found a wonderful line of certified organic vegetable seeds from Imers and they're fabulous. Mm -hmm. I like how we chose them too. I think this was really uh, one of most, the most difficult choices was what are you going to have? Right. Just like the catalog, there are so many options it's difficult to yeah. pick just a few. Yes, it really <laughs> is. And we, we narrowed it down, but mm -hmm. what we did is we went with the criteria of, from our own experience, what do we like to grow exactly. in terms of vegetables? What do we like to eat? Uh, what do we like to share with people? Mm -hmm. What produces a lot? What's easy to grow? All of those things sort of came into play and we managed to, as we said, narrow it down. Right. And we wanted to carry seeds too because lots of people were asking about them. They have their favorites. Mm -hmm. So we compiled all that information along with our with the person supplying us, Imers, yeah. and we asked them, what is the best? What are the most popular varieties? Right. And yes, well, ta-da, ta -da. <laughs> here they are. Right, this is like a little science project. Yeah. But it really is, once you get into growing things from seed, you really start to uh, have a lot of fun with it. And this is really just a sampling. We mm -hmm. have other varieties as well. What I really love about these particular seeds is, of course, one, they are certified Canadian organic seed, which is awesome. That's exactly yeah. what you want to start with, mm -hmm. the best of the best. Um, it's from a Canadian company, which is which is great as oh, well. Oh, you know, that's the best yeah. thing to do. Would you get it, like, local? Isn't yeah. that the best? It definitely mm -hmm. is. And all of the varieties, as we mentioned earlier, are ones that are tried and true, and they're easy to grow if you haven't uh, actually um, grown seeds before. Yes. It's fun to do. You can do it with kids. Uh, you also can do it pretty much anywhere. Absolutely. If you don't have a huge garden, you can still grow vegetables. That's right. They do really well in containers. Mm -hmm. They do really well in the large boxes. Yeah. You just want to make sure you've got the right soil and you've got the right mm -hmm. area for them. They have to be in an area where there's lots of sunshine That's and right. really good drainage. Yeah. Yeah. But they're easy. I mean, I grew up with my mom growing lots of our <laughs> vegetables. And there's so many benefits to growing your own vegetables. Yeah. You, you can pick them fresh out of the garden. Oh, and isn't that the best? Yes. I mean, really, truly, when you grow your own tomato, or oh, tomatoes, I should say, <laughs> uh, and you eat one of those compared to one that you might even buy fresh from a farmer's market, still, fresh from your garden yeah. is the best ever. And, uh, and part of the reason too is that it is you just pick it right there and even the farmers markets they have mm -hmm. to bring them from the field True. to the market and you have to bring True. them home and during that time on your own mm -hmm. plant you've just got it right there in the hand into the mouth exactly <laughs> we even have a few herbs to choose from as well which are great to grow in little containers right outside on your oh, patio yeah. on our patio outside there's a couple of containers and uh, we've got some fresh herbs in there and it's so wonderful especially in the summertime and into the fall to go out there and just oh, yeah. snip a few and put them into your salad or whatever it is that you're cooking at that time and it's just oh my gosh the freshest of the fresh. Mm -hmm. I, I think we when we were doing the research for seeds just to make sure we got everything for you we found out that the Hindi word for seed is bija mm -hmm. and what does it mean? Oh well it means containment of life. Bija don't you love that and it is so true of seeds mm -hmm. that they are actually the containment of life without them where would we be? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. And you know, there, as we said, we've got veggies and we've got herbs, so a little bit of a little bit of both. Yep. The packaging, I must oh, say, yeah. from Limers is really great. We're showing, of course, some of the varieties that we carry, but if you look at the back of the package, oh, excellent information on yeah. how to plant, yeah. how far apart, yeah. how deep, how, deep yeah. um, how much how much seed you get in and how many rows it will make for you, uh, when to harvest. Yeah. There's just the harvest a time, like yeah. from start to finish, how long it's going to take. Yeah. So pretty much everything you need. But mm -hmm. we've also compiled two uh, PDF files. Are they PDF files? Yes. I'm so not computer savvy. That's okay. <laughs> PDF just means they're easy to read and you yes. can download them. And we'll uh, attach them to this video as well. Good. And actually I combined them into one to oh, make that's it good. easy but they're really great because they tell you a little bit uh, on how to start growing seeds if you one haven't done it before right. lots of people have I mean my gosh nowadays it's a huge movement and people mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing it but if you haven't done it all the guesswork is going to be taken out with these two PDF files yeah. the second one or the one that's sort of last is really interesting for me because I think I struggled for many years on how do I thin the vegetables yeah. uh, you know it's, it doesn't sound like much but 
you know, yeah. I would pull and you, them and I'd take everything out. For and you sake. do need to thin. You know, yeah. I'm thinking of uh, just the thing that pops to my head is like when you plant carrots, the seeds are yeah. so tiny and you're planting them in your row and all of a sudden you get lots of these little cute little carrot tops that are coming out. But your carrots will never do well if you leave them yeah. all in. They need the room yeah, to, that's right, to spread and grow. out. That's right. But I love that yeah. tip that you put in there, which was really awesome. Maybe, well, I'll let you share it since yes. you put it in there. <laughs> well, what the tip was, you know, because like I just said, when you take them out, when you pull them out, you often end up pulling out 10 rather than the one or two that you were trying. Mm -hmm. So the tip was to take a little pair of scissors and snip them. Let them fall into your hands and throw those in a salad. Yeah. So not only do you thin your vegetables mm -hmm. out, you actually have something you can throw in the salad and I thought yeah. that was kind of brilliant. I think that is totally brilliant. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. My absolute favorites mm -hmm. though are the, we've done the cilantro this year and it, it's funny, it's a herb that not everybody loves. Mm -hmm. I love it. Me too. Oh my gosh, I mm -hmm. take a big bunch that I buy and luckily in the summer I grow my own which yeah. I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. I chop it all up and I throw it in a salad. Mm -hmm. I chop it all up and I throw it in my rice with an avocado and a little bit of oil and done. Yeah. And I chop it up and throw it in water. And if mm. you like cilantro, oh, heavens yeah. to Betsy Ann, oh. it is the best. Oh, that sounds the great. best. Yeah, yes. and they're very prolific. They just, you know, they grow so easily and grow yeah. so well. Now, I know another one you were thinking oh, of was the, uh, the, the beets, the yes. of the beet. What I loved about it was the fact that it's got the rings of color on the mm -hmm. inside, the red and the white. Oh, cool. And all summer long, what I do with beets mm -hmm. is I cut them in little, little sections, mm -hmm. and then I lay them on a cookie sheet throw a little bit of oil and a little bit of balsamic vinegar on them yes. and just throw them in the oven at usually at 450. I know it's mm -hmm. a little high, but I only want them in there for maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. Right. So they're still kind of crispy and they get that lovely olive oil on them and that balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh gosh, it's so good. I so once had those. a beet pizza. Can oh. you imagine? It was a, a pizza, oh. but it, one of the main toppings was beet. Oh my goodness. That with goat cheese. Think about that. <sighs> So good. Yeah, that would be good. So, which ones do you well, love? Well, the, the ones that I love. Well, I love them all. Of <laughs> yeah. course, we love everything. But I, I you know, I. What came to mind first when you asked me that question was the butternut squash, and we've yeah. got one called Waltham or Waltham. Um, I love a butternut squash, and the fresher the better. And one of my favorite ways to prepare butternut squash, other than grilling it, just simply grilling it, is in risotto. Oh. If you've ever had butternut squash risotto with a little bit of blue cheese and maybe some candy pecans on or the top or chopped walnuts, walnuts or something, absolutely. Oh my goodness, <laughs> delish! I've and had some of hers it yeah. is so good so it's so, so good, good. Yeah. and fresh it just it cuts literally like butter uh, and the great thing too with the butternut squash is they store so well yeah. you can grow a whole shebang of those in the summer and they will keep all winter long if you keep them nice and cool and dark oh so that's a great good. vegetable to store yeah. now the other one I really like which is my all-time favorite salad component is cucumber um, if you're ever intending on inviting me for dinner or for lunch <laughs> and you want to make sure that I do actually show up, serve a cucumber salad and I will be there. I love cucumber yeah. salad. Uh, is there? There's nothing better than going outside yeah. in the summertime and just pulling a cucumber off oh. the branch or off the stem and just going crazy yeah. on it. Yeah. But Elka makes a pretty incredible be uh, uh, cucumber salad herself. Yeah, yeah oh she's, she's the salad queen. Yeah, and she won't t tell us the recipe, but it's Eight. so good. It's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we hope that we've got you a little bit excited about perhaps venturing into growing your own. And uh, of course, the aspect really truly is when you grow it yourself, you know where it came from. And yeah. if you start with certified organic seeds, all the better. Yeah. You know exactly what's gone into every single you know, particle of that plant and that vegetable after when you start to eat it. Yeah. That is just such a great feeling. Right. Such a great now feeling. we are going to try and inspire you to actually purchase some of these seeds and uh, people who are entering our contest might even get it easier because they're going to win. We're actually giving away three $10 Botanis Garden Club or Botanis Garden, uh, Botanis gift cards. My <laughs> gosh, I could just go on and on and on. Botanis <laughs> gift <laughs> cards. <laughs> yes. And we've got a really great question yeah. for you today. The question is, what is the Hindi word for seed? Mm. We did give that back a little bit a while yeah. ago, so I hope you have to play it back over yeah. again. Okay. And send the answer to gardenclub at botanis.com, right. and we'll draw three lucky winners, and they'll get one mm -hmm. $10 gift card each. That's right, and yeah. then you could potentially use the gift card to buy yourself some uh -huh. of these beautiful certified yeah. organic seeds. Well, spring is definitely on its way to some parts of the country, yeah. and 
will be coming sooner than later yes. to other parts of the country. We hope perhaps you're experiencing some sunnier days and that you can actually imagine what it's going to be like for you this spring and you can start thinking <laughs> about getting your seeds started. Well, one thing we should mention too is that we sure. will send the seeds right away. Send a separate order for them and mm -hmm. we will get them out to you as fast as we can. That's right. So you can have them for starting indoors early. And exactly. remember those tip sheets on the website as well. Absolutely. Okay, well have fun everyone. We hope to see you again next week in the Botanist Garden Club. Until then, happy garden dreaming or perhaps even happy garden seed sowing. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.